Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. And here you with me, Peter, South African, living in Brazil. <laughs> South African, living in South Africa. <laughs> but, Bibi, where are you from? Tell them, Bibi. Tell them. Give, I'm from South voice. Africa. I'm from South Africa. <laughs> um, you don't sound convinced, Peter. Okay, well. We do sound different, don't we? So for those that probably know about South Africa, you know that we have different accents because we've been around. So we would tell you more about that. But this we is were, a teaser. We were colonized by lots of countries. Exactly. Know? We are meeting so they've all left their, Yeah, they've all left their imprints on us. Exactly. exactly. That's what makes things so, so interesting. Um, but baby, um, we are in the month of love. And so I thought that the best way to kick this off, get us into the mood and get the listeners to understand what we're getting to is, is starting off with love. What do you think? Oh, um, yeah. Okay. Whatever yeah. rocks your boat, Peter. Yeah. Well, indulge me, indulge me. And and, and what I, what I want to know from you, baby, have you, have you ever heard, uh, I've, I've read about this the other day. Um, have you ever heard of um, the love languages? Do you know, I know it's quite a hype, love languages and what's your love language. But to be honest, I don't know much about it. Really? Enlighten me. Okay. Well, I, I, mean, I mean, the month of love, you need to also understand the language of love. I mean, that's what we're here for, right? The English language and the language of love. So let me explain it to you. Let me get the grammar down. With the love okay. language, okay, and, and uh, there's four main okay. love so, languages. Are you are you like the love doctor? Is that what you're taking on the road? Um, um, um. <laughs> let's say I'm the um, interim, interim <laughs> love doctor. Inter yes, interim. <laughs> okay. So after Valentine, uh, not official. It all goes away. It all then goes I away. retire. Yes. Ah, I, I okay. go back. I to see. Home. I see. Okay. All right. Well, so, the first one, where are they? The, the first one, Bibi, um, mm -hmm. very important love language. And it's important to understand that different people, they have different love languages. So they have a different love language makeup. So, uh -huh. right. And uh, the first one is words of affirmation. Oh, okay, So it's, it's people that likes you to communicate and express love. You know, those, those ones you know, like, please, have... say that. yeah. You love me. Like we actually have a phrasal verb for that. And that's we open do. up. When, oh, when you want to someone to open up, I, I, I hear this a lot from people. It's like, my, you know, uh, my husband doesn't open up to me enough. You know, he doesn't share his feelings and thoughts with mm -hmm. me. And that's right. mm, probably that's like a love language, words of affirmation, like tell me how you're feeling, verbalize it so I exactly. can support you. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. People And people need that. They need that uh, verbalizing support and affection. You know, they need the words. It's the words that, 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 that tend to them and that, that touches them. Okay. But are you talking about up. this one person, this one type of one type, yeah. person or people that like, well, you're, you're not a perfect, you're not a, you're not a perfect one type, BB. You're, but you have a, you have a dominant language, but mm. not only one. Okay. You're, you have a, just, you know, a dominant that's maybe more, um, okay. So what would you call, what should you call someone who loves personal touch? Like. Um, like someone who loves a lot of hugs. And if I'm having a bad day, I want a good hug. I don't want you to tell me that everything's okay. I want you to hug me. I want it's you to just like squeeze the light of, out of me. So what type of love language would that be? That would be physical touch, baby. That would just be people that need someone to touch them physically and to reach out, which is another phrasal verb we can use for physical touch, to, to reach out. out to them. To look after, look after them, them. Uh, to caress, yeah, and you know they they need that physical connection, gesture, yeah, like and like men them. are supposed to look after women, right? Mm -hmm. That's like the old age, um, role of a man is to look after a woman, right? And vice versa, and, 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 and vice versa. I would say that yeah. I would say that many women should also, you know, show that that expression to men. I think many men they feel. Maybe men will not get, you know, very um, candid about this issue because, you know, uh, physical touch is maybe a sensitive issue. But, but I think there are many men where their lo love language is physical touch. You know? 
Y yeah, that would take a little bit of convincing to for me well, to believe that. Well, let's go to the next uh, one. And the next yeah. one is acts of service, Bibi. Have you heard of this love language? Acts of service. Acts of service. Isn't isn't that the same of like looking after someone, like giving them a hug or no, showing no. No, no, it, no. It's like physically doing things for the person. So it's kind of like favors. It's like rub my feet. Yeah. And... <laughs> well, no, it's like uh, no? uh, fix okay. the cupboard, wash the dishes. You know, um, it's to demonstrate love through thoughtful, huh? service-oriented gestures, like right. Ah, gesture. like get me ice cream when I'm feeling down. Ah, uh -huh, exactly. Is it uh -huh. like do something? Okay, I, I, I can, I can relate to this. I can. Yeah. I, I, I think. I think this is me. I love acts of service. I, oh. If you, but and I don't need huge gestures. Like mm. I don't need you to buy me a Gucci bag, or I don't need you to buy me the latest uh, Prada, right? I just need you uh, to show me, like little, like little things. Like if you know, I like ice cream. Buy me ice cream, like that. But baby, but baby, it's not. It's not about gifts. It's about serving the person so it's more or service oriented gestures right so yeah, but... it's not the person giving you a gift it's the person doing something for you like solving a problem you know like uh, washing the car yeah but my problem is that i'm depressed because i need ice cream so you're solving the problem by buying me ice cream so yeah, it well... is an act of service no <laughs> yeah but it just cannot be confused with the other love language which is receiving gifts it's uh, especially really? especially making up, you know, when you're, you know, you're kind of at a, you know. Break up uh, and then you need to make up? Yeah, kind of like, you know, things are not working and you need to make amends. And so yeah. gifts are these tokens of love that kind of pushes reconciliation, kind of helps reconciliation. Uh, like, like if uh, the husband's a complete... Um, <clears throat> whatever he may be mm -hmm. at a certain moment and then he needs to make up for it it would be like a token of appreciation by buying flowers or... expensive jewelry perfume but that's that's what i was saying that for me those types of make up the makeup in in that way doesn't appeal to me like it doesn't, it, that yeah, doesn't... It's just, so it's more acts of service baby I think it's more yeah, accurate. Yeah, you know, I'm good with the gelato. Good with if you buy me ice cream. Like, I'd be happier if you buy me ice cream than buy me the latest Gucci. I don't know. So my, definitely, I think we've ascertained that my love language is acts of service. What's yours? Quality time? Yeah, there we go. That's the last one. That's the one that I feel that resonates the most with me is quality time. Spending time with the person. Being together with the person. Kind of. I feel it's like getting into the person's world, like dedicating focused time. I really appreciate when someone is not fiddling with their phone, when someone is not, you know, doom scrolling or checking their Insta stories. Yeah, yeah. Um, I really feel completely disconnected with this kind of thing. So, so valuing presence and engagement for me is fun. It's 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 it's, it's foundational to feel. So winding feel down, like, like winding down with someone, is your love language. Spending quality time with them. Yeah, it's, I mean, I mean, it can it can be seen as winding down or settling down with the person, but it can also be a person just being interested in, in in you know, like I'm a gamer, so you know, um, a girl coming up to me and be like, Peter, uh, let's play games together. I'll be like, wow, that's that's for what? me is great because oh, it's quality of time. Goodness. Yeah, that's for me like a Cost total show of really? wow. Exactly. Okay, exactly. that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, Good. right. That, that's my that's my love language. That's amazing, and guys, right? Like, yeah. everyone has such different love languages. It does, yeah. And at the same time, we need to understand ours to communicate the love language we want to receive and also to understand the other. And I think in this month of love, it's so important to kind of study up love languages and to be clear on how to spread the love. It's It's not only romantic. Like, if you have parents or kids or whatever it may be, there's always someone in your life that you need to show affection to and you need to realize what, or, like probably for older people, quality time 
is the best way you can show your love for them. Like buying them, dropping off an Amazon package. Um, that doesn't make them feel loved. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's not just romantic, BB. I think this can be definitely applied in any love across. Yeah, across all spectrums. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Well, guys, this this um, is you know we're wrapping it up, and we are also announcing our official launch of the you know PB and Peter show. We will find a better name soon, but for now, we're sticking yeah. with that name. If you have any suggestions for yes, her a better please, name, suggestions. <laughs> we are very open to listening to whatever anyone can throw at us. Um, exactly. We we haven't really decided what we want to call it. Because uh, Peter and I have very different viewpoints on almost everything. So we cannot. We need you guys' help. We need a tiebreaker. You need a tiebreaker. You guys can be an excellent tiebreaker. <laughs> but yeah, it was wonderful to catch up with you again, Peter. Yeah. And I just want to say that uh, starting in the, the month of love, it's also important that Bibi and I we want to spread the love that we have for language learning. And Absolutely. our our vision with this podcast is just really to show passion in learning a language, to take out the boredom, not to be monotonous, and to show the drama, to show the splendor of language learning. It's not a boring process, guys. It's an and we adventure. basically want you to love learning English. I know it's yeah. like almost very contrasting to have English and love in the same sentence, but we're going to change that. We're going to make exactly. it exciting. Exactly. We're going to teach you the well, love I'm language of English. I'm try to make it exciting. I will try my best. I you don't will know do it. it. You will do it, BB. You won't try. We will do it. We will. Oh, uh, yeah. Positive affirmation. Let's go. Exactly. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for listening to this teaser. And please stay tuned for our official launch in one week. And then we will launch five episodes, promotional uh, episodes that would be the start of this exciting podcast and then we take it please send your suggestions comments and feedback as we really appreciate every single message and we take it to heart to be able to have a better better bigger and more fun more love right, more love, more love. Yeah. exactly <laughs> I love that oh awesome Bibi Guys, thank you so much and enjoy the month of love. Spread that love through your love language. Get all lovey. Lovey, lovey, lovey. Okay. okay. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye.